Hi, and welcome to Tony Time. We have a very special lady on our show today. But I would just want to make sure that all of you, before we get into this wonderful show, a different show than I've had, um, I think you can learn a lot from it. I want to make sure everybody has their coffee or their tea or whatever time of day it is. I want you to sit, relax, and as I always say, feel free to send me a note here at the studio, call in, whatever. But this lady, Lena, I met her at the dog park. Oh, probably about six months ago. And she is a down-to-earth, talented woman. And I thought she was a makeup artist. This is how we started our first conversation. So let me introduce you to Lena. Lena, welcome to our show. Hi, Tony. Yeah, thank you for being here. I'm very excited. Well, great. Yeah. So we met at the dog park. Yeah, we love dogs. Because we love dogs, yeah, and dogs. and I said you're a makeup artist, yeah. and she says, "How did you know that?" Yeah, exactly. But then, as we started to talk and we started to get to know each other more, mm -hmm. there's a whole lot more to this lady than just makeup. Yeah. So let's just kind of touch on right now. You do have a makeup line. Yes, I do. How did that come about? Well, uh, I named my makeup line Egon Sheila Cosmetics the art for your face. And it really, it started the whole idea almost, or my passion for Igor and Sheila, just his art started mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Then, first of all, I studied art history in Austria. Mm -hmm. And my dad, uh, in 1982, bought his studio in oh. Chesky Krumov, which is a part of Southern Bohemia, the Czech Republic. Okay. And we, uh, we had a foundation and we restored the house as a historic monument and wow. museum. And I was running the house, let tourists in mm -hmm. for seven years and explained them what happened there, what Sheila, what kind of artwork Sheila did and the scandals and Ooh. all the stories. And the good thing, I also speak three languages. So I could give the tours in three languages. What in three Czech, languages do you Czech, speak? Czech, German. English, but actually I, I also then was better in my French. So, so it was really great to p let people know about Sheila and what he did in 1911. Wow. Lena, so, wow. and I just want to tell everybody that Egon Sheila was born in 1819 in Austria and died in 1918. So he was only 28 years old when he died. Boy. Why? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, what happened? Well, he died uh, on Spanish influenza. In 1918, there was an epidemic after the First World War. So many people died. And his wife, Edith, yeah. died just like three days before him. She was 26 and she was six months pregnant. Oh so it was, he had a very short, tragic life. But he, he, I mean, had such an incredible work, artwork. It's well, let's talk about him and we'll come back to the makeup. Okay. You've got me now. Really yeah. curious. I mean, this man lived a very short life, but it looks like he accomplished an awful lot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And like, I just want to be current yeah. to now. There's yeah. a large exhibition of his art at the, at the Neue Gallery in New York City right Didn't now. Didn't you go to that at the yes. beginning of October? Yes, I went there to the opening. Uh, the man who, who is the president of the Neue Gallery is Ronald Lauder, the son of Esther Lauder. Okay. I actually met him before twice at his office because he was very interested in the studio and he was very really, very appreciative that we were restoring it as a monument as a historic monument not like not as a private residence to live there so he was he was very he invited me really a couple times to his office to talk about it wonderful because also he goes there himself to this town he is a beautiful medieval city of chesky krumov where the studio is Okay, now where, where, I mean, give us a little bit of a landmark of where the studio is. Called Chesky Krumlov, okay. or Krumau in German. All right. And at this, right now, it's in the southern part of the Czech Republic. But when he lived there, it uh -huh. was the part of the Austrian-Hungarian monarchy. Okay. And the Austrian-Hungarian monarchy was Bohemia, had Bohemia, Austria, Hungary, was a big land. And after the First World War, everything fall apart into the countries. So anyway, there was a lot of commotion actually in Central Europe. I'm sure. 
So, so yeah, so he lived in that kind of, you know. Let's show the life. audience a little bit of his yeah. art as we continue on. Mm -hmm. Now, this is from um, 1890 to 1918. Mm -hmm. So he died in 1918, just before he died. Okay, so let the camera explain his art to us. Well, he, he developed his own style called the Expressionism. So he started as a student at the Viennese Academy, but then he actually broke off after two years being there, and he, st he started his own group called the Neukunstgruppe, New yeah. Art Group, with other younger people, and they started their own style. So it's not as pretty and perfect, it just has their own expression. And he also started to paint a lot of, you know, say nudes or that's his sister. This is his sister? Yeah, that's his sister. So, and also see, it's it's just a different type of expression. It's, yeah. Look at the hands, you know, it's also not perfect, but he could like, you know, he could paint you perfectly, but just he, that's his own style. Wow. And the colors, he also loved a lot of like, like a red burn or orange and. I see that, yeah. yeah he loved those warm colors. Now, now, I mean, he's, I mean, during his time, this must have been very, very risque. Yeah. Most of his time then, like when he lived in the studio, see, he actually was kicked out of the studio because he painted nude models in the gardens. Okay. And he was not married to his girlfriend, Wally Neuze, who, who was there with him. So after they kicked him out, he went back to Vienna. Okay. And But how he ended up in Chisky Krumer because his mother was from that town. And he was thinking, well, I'm going to go out of Vienna, out of the big city to a small town and experience the kind of small town living. Yeah. But it was not for him, for his bohemian lifestyle. So they didn't like him at all. Oh, the locals. okay. Yeah. This is his book. Yeah, that's from the exhibition from the National Gallery of Art. That's the actual the art catalog. Yes. From 1994. Okay. And I was invited to work for this exhibition in 94, and that's why, how I ended up in the United States now for 20 years. Because of this man? Yeah, he brought me here. I met her, Jane Kelly is a very well-known art uh, author yeah. and gallery owner in New York, Gallery San Etienne, and she invited me to go to work for this exhibition. So that's why we moved to Washington, D.C. from Europe. Okay, so year. you started off in Washington, D.C. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But I really stayed there because all the organization, the Smithsonian organized it, so I didn't need to go when it traveled, you know, yeah. a couple of times. Now, if somebody wanted to purchase this book, mm -hmm. can they? Yeah, they can go. This book is also on Amazon.com. Yeah. Okay, so this book is on Amazon.com. Yeah. As we get more into this book. And um, I just want to tell you that from that book, I wrote this book. About that, the studio. That you wrote. Yeah, exactly. Now, can people get your book? Also on Amazon.com. Okay. And, you know, I'm trying to get all in the museum stores. I, I wouldn't think you'd have a problem, would you? Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, it's, you know. It's, I would think people would just eat this up. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, that's, I hope so. Because I mean, on a, see, it's like, you know, it's a self-published book, so sometimes it's a little harder to get in. Yeah. But... But a lot of, I had many positive feedback, so I'm on the good way to get into museum okay. stores. So now you still have photos of the studio in your book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see this, that's, Steve. Um, that's just before the restoration. That's how, when we bought it, that's how it looked. And we had to, like, we had to redo the whole stucco and the clay tile room. Wow. So we had to... So did you stick with what was originally... Yeah. We had like historians, yeah. uh, you know, like put the plants together that we don't, we stay with the time of Sheila, that we don't change anything, but even more added up to it because some, there were some changes in the house, but we brought it back to the original state. Wow. The house actually itself was built in 1645. And now, it's, this it's, is your whole family who brought it back, right? Well, yeah, but we had a foundation and other people too, but my family. Yeah, was your family dad. is the family that... Yeah, we, we brought it back in life. Yeah. Like what they did here would say like with the Winslow Homo studio. Yeah. That's what we've done with that house. Okay. Now, here's another photo he did entitled The Daydreamer. His sister, Gertie. Mm -hmm. Steve, can you... 
I mean, this is a whole different different look he's doing here of Gertie. Yeah, 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 he's changing all the time. Yeah, this different look. It's a shame he died so young. I mean, we're missing out on so much of the art we could have had from him. I know. Now, you're pronouncing his name as... Egon Sheila. Egon Sheila. Yeah. Because Egon Sheila. Yeah. Okay, just so people, mm -hmm. you know. Um, this one's kind of scary, the hermit from 1912. Yeah. This I is the... there some, you know, interesting, provocative or... Yeah. Uh, paintings. Yeah, he could express different feelings. And this is dark. Yeah, yeah. This is very, very dark. Yeah. But I like it. I mean, I, I, I like it for the fact that it's like somebody over his shoulder. And here is Moa. Moa, she visited him in the studios. He was, he was captivated by her beauty. Yeah. See, the friends came to her studio to visit him from Vienna. And all the book I put together, all the letters, all the stories, what wow. has happened there at the time he lived in the studio. He did a lot for 26 years. Yeah. And see, I translated a lot of many things from German, because actually a lot of these letters were in German. Yeah. So I had to translate many letters and poems for this book into English, you know. How long did all this take you? This, that's what I've been working. I've been working. I published a different one in like a little more co in German. So I didn't have one in English. So this is really, all the research was for 20 years. I mean, like, you know, you have to put things together and it takes time. Oh, yeah. This is his self-portrait. Yeah. Which, which I see a little boy in there. Mm -hmm. I do see a little boy trying to be a grown-up man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be interesting. Um, his, wow. His protégé or his first, uh, teacher was Gustav Klimt. So Gustav Klimt was his first influence. But wow. So he could also paint in that style called the secessionist style, with a lot of gold and pretty stuff. But then he like he said, no, that's enough of pretty. No and, more pretty. Yeah, no more ornamental stuff. I want to be expressive, expressing what I feel. Well, now, this man here, you, you have, we were friends until his death in, 19, in 2002. He was 82 years old. Yeah, that's his nephew. That's his I, nephew. I met his nephew, I don't Anton know if you can Peshka see this, Jr. When we, when we opened the house, he came to the first opening, like festive opening. And we, we were friends for eight years. And I visited in Vienna. He came to see me. Then we went together to Prague. And he told me all, also the stories about Sheila. So I taped it, that I have it for further research. Wow. Yeah. So he was the last, last nephew and last, actually, model. Igor and Sheila painted him. There are some even paintings of him when he was four years old. Wow. I mean, this is just, I mean, this book. Now, can people purchase this on Amazon? Well, this one, not, not this directly, but, you know, they can well, email Here's his me. wife. All right, so we do have your email. Um, yeah on the credits at the end of the show. Yeah, they can go to egonshieldstudio.com and... Okay. This is the wife. Yeah, exactly, Edith, yeah. I mean, he really put her in very bright colors. Yeah, yeah, the stripes. Yeah. It's even in this exhibition, actually, right now, see? Wow. In New York, you can see the original. Okay. See, this is the nephew. He painted him. Okay. His friend, Anton Peshka. This is Sheila's 1909 painting of Anton? Anton Peshka. Uh, you can kind of get all these pages here. Yeah. And that's his uh, brother-in-law, Anton Peshka Sr. What? Uh, he, mar he married Gerte, Sheila's sister. Okay. Sister. All like right. There. The one that yeah. we had up, yeah. Um, and let me see. The last picture here. Uh, here he is in 1918. Just before his death, yeah. Right before his death, and a portrait of him as a little boy. Yeah. He was a good-looking man. Yeah, he was. Also, you can read this. I don't. Can you read the last sentence? The last sentence. I know there is no such thing as modern art. There is only art that abides forever. Egon Sheila, 1911. Yeah. Wow. 
So he wrote poems, he wrote very like profound sayings. So he, yeah, he was an amazing person. Now, you know, of all the people to be drawn, what drew you to this? What really drew you and your family to be a part of this? Well, first of all, I studied his art in Austria, so I've yeah. seen his originals in Vienna. It's just incredible to see his originals. Okay. You just feel still now, 100 years later, that energy and the feelings. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very, you know, it's very impressive. So I just was drawn to it. And yeah. then me and my friend, after the opening of the border in 1990, went back to Chesky Krumov. Wow. And I was, and we were searching for the studio. And we found it. It was right by the river. And even I kind of knew this town, but I didn't know where the studio was. So in 1990, we found the studio with my friend. And I, I, right away when I saw it, oh my God, I was like, oh my God, this is a special house. This is unbelievable. And also it's in the midst of three garden terraces, so a very interesting structure. And then there's a little meadow and there's the river called Vltava. And the town is a medieval castle, and it's a beautiful medieval town. Wow. So it's a very beautiful city. It's, it's just incredible, built like every 1200. So, and I told my dad, I told my dad when, I told him, you should buy the studio. Because Ego and Sheila at that time was not famous there yeah. at this town. You know, it was all opening after the communism. It was opening of the borders, a new life was coming in. But I knew, I knew something I had. Yeah. So I told him, you should buy the house. We should like restore it. It would be such a great project, I told my dad, right? So and then I go back to Austria, finish my college, and then I, I flew to Vancouver, British Columbia, to study English. And I'm there in 1992, and calling Euro, calling my dad, and he said, oh, I bought the house. And I said, what house? And he said, I bought the Igor and Sheila Garden Studio. I said, like, oh my God. And he said, we are going to have opening, we are going to exhibit contemporary art and Anton Peschka, the nephew, will come to the opening and the My, whole town will come. look at you. So it was so fun. You planted the seed. Yeah, I planted the seed, yeah. And that's all came together. And my, my dad, you know, had the finances and everything, but it was available to purchase it. And Oh my, how yeah. wonderful. So it was really great. It was, it was, I had such a, the most, the best time. It's just open all my life. I knew what I'm going to do in life. You know, I was like 26. I was like, I knew what I'm going to do. It's going to be Igor and Sheila. And then, and then you were there for seven years. Yeah, for seven years. I was doing running tours. every summer. Yeah, doing tours. Yeah, exactly. And then I flew back to the United States because I, I actually, you know, was then stayed here. Well, you traveled a lot in your life. Oh, yeah. You have lived a lot of places. Yeah, I have, like many places in Europe. Give us some. I mean, tell tell our audience. I mean, well, you... I lived, you know, Czech Republic, Austria, Germany, Switzerland. I love Portugal. That's my favorite country. You know, I've been to Italy, France, Belgium, Netherlands, Liechtenstein. Wow. It's a small city, a small town. Um, so, yeah, I travel a lot. And I travel a lot in the United States. So I, I live in Washington, D.C., I live in San Diego, I've been, you know, across the country twice. What brought you to Maine? What, what? Well, actually my former husband. Okay. So it's I always got, a man. Yeah. <laughs> always a friggin' man. Yeah. So I got married, we got married in Washington, D.C., and my former husband was from Maine. Okay. Actually, you know, related to the Oakhurst family, so. What I, family? Oakhurst. The Oakhurst yeah. family, okay. So, anyway, so uh, that's why I ended up in Maine in 1998. Wow. Yeah, a while ago. But I still have to travel, you know, I still. Well, I know you do. Yeah. I do. And I love Maine. I really like it. I really, I love where I live in Kennebunk. I, I really like it there. Okay. It just reminds me of Europe. All right, well, you know, but, you know, I've I've always said this because you have lived a life of probably three people like I have. We can be very content yeah. and appreciative of a small town. Yeah. Because we've done everything. Exactly. We live in big cities. We live in big I mean, we've, we've, you know, so we appreciate the people. We appreciate the things around us. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because of that. Yeah. And, you know, I always try to encourage our audience to, to watch the shows, learn from you. 
um, that if, if, if you have a dream, go for it. Yeah. You don't need money to go for it. Just have a belief. Exactly. Move forward. Exactly. Believe in yourself. Exactly. Yeah. And I don't know whether you want to talk about the makeup, back to the makeup. Well, wait, I'm not done with, the, with, with, the with yeah, I mean, there's just so much. We're going to have you back on the show again, okay. of course. Okay. But, okay, now this is the brochure um, that is now at the showing in New York. Yeah, at the Neue Gallery. Where, uh, where is Neue it? Neue Gallery is very close to the Metropolitan Museum. All right, because... Fifth Avenue. All like right. 1078 Fifth Avenue. So it's... 1078 Fifth yeah. Avenue. Okay. So like very, you know, beautiful old villa. Ronald Lauda bought and mm -hmm. restored it to, to a museum. Wow. And he exhibit Gustav Klim, Egon Schiele. You know, he has other Austrian and German expression mm -hmm. expressionism. But right now, this exhibition will be there till January 19. How wonderful. Yeah, it's like 130 portraits coming from Europe. And Ronald Lauda, he owns the largest collection of Egon Schiele. He loves Egon Schiele. That's like his thing. So. Wow. Now, this gentleman sitting here, mm -hmm. who is that? That's the father-in-law. That's the father-in-law. Yeah, that's the father-in-law. Yeah, okay. the father All right. I mean, this is just, his artwork is just so different on every photo. Yeah, I know. He was very versatile. And, and, I mean, you feel the emotion. You feel um, what Moody was in that day. Exactly. Yeah. Huh. So if people want to go to New York, yeah. do they need to call in advance? or? No, it's open every day. It's closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But they can go on, you know, on the website, noyagallery.org, okay. and look at it up. It's, they have a great website and, and get right. information. Yeah. So if you want to know more information, definitely. Yeah, and they wrote a lot about New York Times, wrote about the show, the Forbes, all the major wow. wrote about this show. So you know, that's just... People can go and... It should, they all should go and see it. And it's fun to go to New York, as we know, right? It's fun to Well, go. it's always fun to go to New yeah. York. Um, okay, now this one, you said is from 1994. Exactly. So this was the National Gallery of Art. Yeah, exactly. 1994, and this was where? This was... Um, in D.C. In D.C., yeah. okay. That's, that was the first exhibition I worked This was for. the first exhibit, okay. That's why I ended up here. This is why we have Lena here. Yeah, in the United States. Yeah. But it's just... It's just interesting these 20 years. I kept this one, you know, from 19. Well, of course. I mean, look at this. It's 20, 20 years. years apart. Yeah. <laughs> That's my little life in the United States, right there. This is Lena's life. Yeah, in, right there. Right here in the United <laughs> States. <laughs> very simple. Very simple, very <laughs> straightforward. Yeah. Okay, now this book, Jane, the author here. Yeah, that's from, that was the art catalog. Okay, this is the art catalog, and my goodness, I mean, right now we don't have time to go through it, but there's some really old, interesting photos in here. I mean, this is just his artwork here, and this one. Yeah, that's his sister again, yeah. Yeah. It's just unique, every... Every photo he does. Yeah. You know, some are colorful, some are dark. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, I was never much... I mean, I love art. I love colors. I love different things, but you're the one who let me know about him. Yeah. And Lena, over the summer, I was very busy over the summer, and she kept saying, did you look at my email? Did you read about this? And I said, I'm going to, I'm going to. But as my audience knows, I don't want a lot of information before I have you on the show. I know. Because I will then ask the right questions mm -hmm. that you might be saying, well, I wonder if she. So, okay, let's go back to, with all this happening, where did the makeup come in at? Well, when I kind of decided to we put the house in a trust, so I didn't need to go there every summer to rent the house. And I felt that America doesn't know Sheila enough. I felt like America needs to get to know him. Right. And I'm going to bring it to them in the form of makeup and cosmetics. So I felt makeup is a perfect, perfect actually, Call us, call us like a palette of an artist. True. And you can, and the, that's why the second title is The Art of Your Face. Egon Schiele Cosmetics, The Art of Your Face. Because every time you put 
makeup on. You can put different colors. You can create different, actually, artwork on your face. So all that, that was all based on it. And also my colors, for the, I decided for the company to, to carry, are based on its art. So there are a lot of the reds and the oranges and browns and so it's you know it's a great palette. Just look at this blanket. You know, oh, I you know. Can pick up all these colors. I mean, and so the first, the f so I de I decided for these colors, but I also have a perfume, Ego and Chile perfume. It's all natural, and then we also carry Ego and Chile lotion, all natural. So there's also no. I also am very believe in no chemicals in uh, perfumes and cosmetics. So I'm trying. This company we have, it's like even makeup is a mineral makeup line, so there's less chemicals, less preservatives. We do not use phthalates or parabens. It's all free of well wow. of the chemicals which are being put into today's cosmetics. So I'm very careful about the quality. I really want the quality to be very pure, the purest you can get today's world in manufacturing. So now you've been hands on through this whole thing with the yeah. makeup. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I decided for what the companies I carried the products from. and so. But the first show I went to, the makeup show, was in 2010 in New York. And people loved it. People like, oh my god. And they never heard of Sheila. See, like, yeah. many people have never heard about Sheila. Now they, ha they you know, you see now even four years later, because of Ronald Lauda is, you know, he really promoting right now Sheila, so it's everywhere. But yeah. then they even like, who is Sheila? So it was really, I was very proud to introduce it. Oh, I was an Absolutely. artist from, you know, 1900 from Austria. And oh, I never heard of. And so and a lot of times I was giving them like freebies. And say, so I said, go spread the name of Egon. You know, spread the name of Egon. Because I felt really good to just give them a little art history, you know, like lesson, a little that they know more about what was going on in Austria in 1900. You have kept his life alive. You have kept him alive. Yeah, I feel like that's what I love. That's my passion. That's like, there's you, nothing else. Yeah, I mean, you <laughs> have kept him alive and his name out there for all these years. Yeah, yeah, and that's and this makeup line and cosmetics makes it better to order you know, people who have never heard of him. Now, if somebody here in Maine, mm -hmm. Bitterford, anywhere, where can they buy it here? Well, right now they can buy it online. Okay. On SheilaCosmetics.com. Okay. Also, there's an, right now, uh, there's a team of mother and daughter here, right now, here in Biddeford on Set Salon. Okay. They're selling it there. On Set Salon. Yeah. So. so they can buy it there directly or just from the website. That's okay. Fine too. All right. So it's all, all the colors are there. and. So you have the product right here in Bitterford, yeah, um, or go online. I yeah. mean, this is yeah, and it's pure and it's natural, and um, yeah, you have kept him alive. I know, and and I feel very proud of it. I feel like you should be. I'm like I'm so, you know, when it's your passion, there's not. I do it every day. I just do something for him every day, and it's fun and and never boring. And and I meet really nice people and go to these art exhibitions and meet very imp important people, you know, like they wrote books or Ronald Lauder, you know, the cosmetics here. So it's like, it's like, it, it has been great to, to be part of this. You're an amazing life. woman, Lena. Oh, thank you. you are an amazing woman. I mean, you had a vision way, way back. I know, I just felt it. And you followed what you felt. You yeah. fe well, like I tell the audience, follow your dream. That's what you did. Yeah. And even I had to move, and I never thought I was going to live in the United States, you know, like 20, 20, whatever, three years ago, say. I didn't think I will. I, I really like my life in, in Europe. I yeah. really did. My family is there. So I really had to start a really new life here in America, which, you know, in some way, it's, it's a new land. It's a new language. It's a new culture. But yeah. I'm really glad. I met so many great people. You have. You, you know, so many great people. I mean, really appreciate. I really learned so much about like my heritage, even and and, and life, different lifestyles. Well, you're a Bohemian. Yeah, I'm you're Bohemian. a true Bohemian. Yeah. I mean, in New York, we'll say, "I'm a Bohemian. Yeah. I have the a Bohemian style, which is a very cozy, comfortable style." And some people don't realize what that is about. Mm -hmm. When we first met, you said something about. My last name. Yes, Shipka. Shipka, Shipka is Shipka. 
Shipka, yeah. Shipka. Yeah. So her dog's name is? No, Simka. My Simka. Dog. Yeah. But I call it Shipka. Yeah. But and she, it, but Lena was the first one to, to point that out to me because, you know, they're. And it means, it's a Czech word. It means arrow. Yeah. It means arrow. Yeah. Mom, if you're watching, it means arrow. Yeah. Shipka. Yeah. She's, she's watching. Going, I told you that. I told you that. I really? She's yeah. Not. But oh. uh, this, I mean, you have carried on his name. Yeah, even before they even was, he was so well known here in the United States. I tried to, you know, promote his name. But yeah. Well, I think, you know what? I think you need to come back for another show. Oh, I would love to. Let's yeah. get you back here. Let's continue the story. Yeah. Because uh, we're running out of time. Okay. But, um, you know, if you could bring back, uh, do you have more of his artwork like this? Yeah, I do, yeah. I Why don't do. you bring that back too? Yeah. And, uh, Bring some of your makeup line too. I shall. Let's play. Yeah, let's play because it actually the, the makeup line, mm -hmm. the exhibit on real make uh, artist palettes, you know, like, yeah, yeah. you know, like the colors. Yeah, I like. So when I go to the makeup show, the the booth mm -hmm. I we decorate is like an artist studio with the easel with the, you That's know. That's great. Yeah. So I mean, this all follows through. I mean, I can visually. Yeah. I can visually yeah, see it. Is, yeah. And so people love it at the makeup show. It was like, oh my God. And believe it or not, we even influenced not a makeup line called Andy Warhol, but it's a much bigger company, you know. Yeah. It started like a few years ago. So, but it's great also to be influenced, even in this industry of the cosmetics industry. Yeah. That yeah. other companies are coming out with other artist names. Well, you said another trend again. Yeah. So I felt like, oh, we sent it up as trend. And then we were there couple of years ago again, but, and they started the Andy Warhol makeup line. So my model, my intern was with me. So I put her like in the orange stuff. Mm -hmm. So she was running there with the Andy Warhol, Andy Warhol's girls, like the 1960 look. Yes. Yeah, but it was like, you get multi-billion dollar company and a little company, you know, but it, only in the United States is possible. You That's can why do that, yeah. I know, only United States and New York. It's yeah. possible that people embrace your idea. Yes, they And do. they are not naysayers, you know, like, but that, no. They love it. They all makeup show was great, and people are yes, this is great, this is great. You know that's why I love America because they're much more optimistic about women in business. I just well, they definitely you. are. Yeah, and and they can see down the line that you know you created something, and if they have a good feeling about it, they're going to invest. They're going to move along with you. Yeah, yeah, they're not naysayers. That's yeah. It's much easier for me as a woman in business here in America than Europe. Yeah. Tell you that. Well, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So that's why I'm happy to live here. And we had Gloria Steinem. Glorious. You, you, you know who Gloria Steinem? No. Woman's Liber. Okay. She's now about maybe in her 70s. Okay. But she was like the woman's liver, you know, we need to make more, you know, we need to make equal as a man. Yeah. And I think, I, you know, I, I think she did some good things there. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what you're saying right now is what she did yeah. back in the '60s, right? Yeah, '60s. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's America is good for women in business. As I yeah. said, I could have never done this in Europe. No. With a lot of naysayers and a lot of problems, you know. You should be so proud of yourself. Oh, thank you. You should be so very proud. Oh, of thank yourself. you so much. You know, I'm so happy to be here and be your friend. You are. You drive me nuts sometimes. But <laughs> yeah, we have so much fun. I adore you. I do. I but do. I adore you too. You're great, really. Well, I make you laugh. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. I make her laugh. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, we have to. We're running out of time, but you're going to come back. Yes. We're going to go further on this. This is going to be an ongoing learning more, and you know, we're going to talk about different cultures in the future and what your take was on them living in different places. More about your idol, oh. Egon Sheila. Yeah. You, know, you have to get used to saying that, Egon Sheila. Yeah, Egon Sheila. I Great. love it. And you'll bring back more of his artwork. Okay. Okay. Right. So thank you for being on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. It was, it's great. And we're going to have you back again real soon. Yeah, okay, great. Okay. okay. And everybody, thank you for taking the time and watching our show today. Um, a lot of fun, isn't it? Just a lot of new things. So we'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.